Hello YouTube, this is Darka13, and in this quick video I will be showing you on how to jailbreak your iDevice on firmware 4.3.2. Now this does work for the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and also the iPad 1st generation, and this does not work for the iPad 2, unfortunately. Now this jailbreak is untethered and it does not require any of your SHSH blobs to be saved. So if you don't have any of them saved, it does not matter. Um, you can still do this jailbreak. So the first two things you will need are, as you can see right here, Red Snow, the program, and the program is RC14, and also the 4.3.2 firmware file for your specific device. So I will have a link in the description for both of these. So like Red Snow works for Mac and Windows, just download it in the description down below and I would recommend putting it on your desktop just as I have done here. And also I will have a link in the description down below to download the 4.3.2 firmware file for your device. So make sure to put both of those on your desktop or somewhere else on your computer that you can remember. And let's get right on into this. The first thing you need to do is open up Red Snow and then it should look something like this and you just want to click the browse button and then now you want to browse for your firmware file that you downloaded so I have mine right here click open and it should process the firmware and you can simply click next and it will prepare the jailbreak data as you can see here once it is finished I would recommend just doing install Cydia and enable battery percentage but if you want to allow a boot animation you can and if you can also install any custom bundles that you want um, so if you want to install any custom bundles for your device and you have them somewhere on your computer you can do that too but personally I am just going to do install Cydia and enable battery percentage because I don't really care about the boot animation but that's a great feature that the iPhone dev team added so then just click next and when you click next on here it's going to give you on screen steps to putting your device into DFU mode but I don't really recommend doing that because uh, it could fool a lot of people and they could screw up. So I recommend doing what I say now before clicking next. So before clicking next, make sure your device is plugged in. So once it's plugged in, just close out iTunes and then hold down the power button. And then slide to power off. So make sure it's plugged in and off. You can't turn it off then plug it in because then it will just boot back up. So first plug it in, then turn it off and then press the power button for three seconds 1001, 1002, 1003 and then press the home button and leave them both down for seven seconds and after those seven seconds have passed you can let go of the power button but leave down the home button and just do that for seven seconds once again so I'll go over that really quick once again first plug in your device and then turn it off once it's off hold the power button for three seconds and then leave them both down for seven seconds the home button and the power button and then after those seven seconds let go of the power button but leave down the home button for seven seconds if you've done it correctly the screen on your device should be black right now and if you still couldn't follow it I will have steps in the description down below to do this so then you click next and it should skip the instructions as you just saw and it should just do this so you just need to wait for it to finish and then it should say waiting for reboot it's going to upload the RAM disk and right now on your device you should see a little hard disk with a um, green arrow and then some a whole bunch of text should scroll down on your screen so then in Red Snow it should say done as you can see right there but I'm just going to leave it up okay guys so once everything is finished on your iDevice so the, um, the first part um, with a hard disk and the green arrow and then the code, the code scrolled down and after that you should have seen a running pineapple and once it is finished it should reboot as you can see my iPod touch fourth generation is here and so I will just slide to unlock and I will open up settings to show you that I am on 4.3.2 as you can see from 4.3.2 
and there is Cydia. So my advice is now jailbroken. So that's about it for this video, guys. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below, and also please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any problems or anything, make sure to send me a message or just leave a comment because other people who watch this video could help you out. Anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. And also, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my second YouTube channel. Both of those links will be in the description down below. Once again, guys, thanks for watching the video, and see you all later.